four to six, Iris's Gift. Nine to two, Hardy Eustace. Eleven to two, Pizarro. Twelve to one, Royal Emperor. Twelve to one, also Supreme Prince. And it's a hundred to one, bar the top. And as the tapes went up, Royal Emperor stumbled quite badly, and Dominic Ellsworth was live to it and quickly reacted. So he's away okay eventually. The first flight coming up here, Balladeer, one of the outsiders with Simply Supreme, another of them. They're the first two to show. Royal Emperor pulling his way through the field with Supreme Prince in behind them. Iris's gift, the grey up on the outside with the yellow sleeves. Up on the inside rail is Ballina Hinch Castle, who's well to the fore. Hardy Eustace and Pizarro, they track each other with only master tricks behind them in the early stages and two circuits of the track left to go. And they've still 12 more flights of hurdles to take. So on settling down, it's simply Supreme who leads by two lengths to Supreme Prince in second place, then Balladeer up on the outside of Royal Emperor who sits in fourth. Ballina Hinch Castle just shades fifth place ahead of Iris's gift and then up on his outside is Hardy Eustace. Pizarro is keeping Master Tricks company at the back end of the field. They're the last pair as they come on now towards Flight of Hurdles number two. The leader here, driven into it, is simply supreme. He touched down over the second safely, with Balladeer now a, a clear second. Iris's gift, together with his fellow Grey Royal Emperor, third and fourth. Hardy Eustace now making progress as well on their outside. Then losing a couple of places, Supreme Prince back in sixth place. Pizarro still held up with Ballina Hinch Castle and Master Trix is still the back marker. As they flick over the middle flight down the far side, there was a slight mistake, only slight, from the favourite, Iris's gift. An even worse mistake, though, from Master Trix at the back of the field. Ballina Hinch Castle, despite the fact he's unbeaten, he fancies just beginning to feel the pinch already at this early stage of the contest as they skip over the next hurdle, where Pizarro was none too tidy this time, with only two behind him. But they're at the end of the back straight now. Hardy Eustace being pushed along back in a share of fourth place, only for three or four strides. He's come back on the bit and responded well. So down the side of the track now and towards the home straight with still a lap and a half in front of them. It's Simply Supreme who leads from Iris's gift and Hardy Eustace who's responded well, sitting nicely in third place now. Royal Emperor is in fourth. Balladeer's lost positions. Pizarro is up on his outside. Then we've got Supreme Prince and after Supreme Prince is Master tricks and three or four lengths detached is Ballina Hinch Castle. In towards the home straight then. The next flight they'll take is flight number five of the 13 all told and it's Simply Supreme and Warren Marston showing by two or three lengths. Hardy Eustace alongside Iris's gift. These two will track each other you fancy throughout the rest of the contest. They're second and third in four. Oh Pizarro's fallen. Pizarro's down at that flight. Heavy fall it was for the jockey Norman Williamson. Pizarro himself Thankfully, he's gone right to his feet and galloping on loose. Meanwhile, the middle flight up the home straight continues with Iris's gift and Hardy Eustace now within a length of the leader. That leader continues to be simply supreme. Back in fourth is Supreme Prince and then Royal Emperor. They're followed further back by Master Trix and Balladeer, who's lost ground. A mistake at that flight of hurdles went in fifth place for Supreme Prince. And at the back of the field, Ballin Hinch Castle really struggling. So there are five of them that have gone clear with a circuit left to go in the Martel Cognac Sefton Novices Hurdle and the favourite Iris's Gift is in front with a lap to go, leads by a neck in second place, Simply Supreme, Royal Emperor Hardy Eustace and Supreme Prince, they're the nearest pursuers, there's 20 lengths then back to Master Trix who's just two in front of Balladeer and Ballina Hinch Castle is tailing off completely as they head then down on towards the far side of the track. Looks like they will, may well doll off the third last. Norman Williamson still being attended to by the, by the uh, paramedics there, but on they go towards the back straight for the final time. These leaders, five of them grouped up, are headed by Iris's gift with Hardy Eustace up on the outside. Simply Supreme taking it in third place. In fourth is Royal Emperor, just starting to push along a bit now in fifth. is Supreme Prince, these remain well clear of Balladeer. Oh, a loose horse has cannoned into Master Tricks and has unseated Timmy Murphy, that came from nowhere. Ballina Hinch Castle still going in seventh place, but completely tailed off as they go to the middle flight on the far side. Iris's gift led there, but just like the first circuit, he was pretty untidy. Hardy Eustace just got a tap with the whip 
Stephen pushed along now in second place, and he got rather more than a tap that time in second, chasing this favourite. Royal Emperor again running a Stormer in third place, then Supreme Prince in fourth. Simply Supreme is over in fifth place. These remain a mile clear, almost a hurdle clear, of Balladeer and Ballinhinch Castle, who still tailed off. Well, Norman Williamson's been attended to safely, happily, and they will jump the final three flights of hurdles. Iris's gift is pulling clear without much effort here on the run for home. Iris's gift, the other three in behind all pushed along. Hardy Eustace back in fourth place. He's not picked up yet. In second now is Supreme Prince. In third is Royal Emperor. Hardy Eustace in fourth. And a gap continues back to Simply Supreme back in fifth place. So they turn for home. Still an awful long run before they get to the third last. But the odds on favourite Iris's gift is powering it on. Iris's gift by four lengths here. Supreme Prince in second place. In third is Royal Emperor. Hardy Eustace has stopped very tamely indeed. He's looking very weary. He may well be repressed for fourth by Simply Supreme. But they come to three out. Iris's gift, the clear leader. Jump that one well. Touchdown. Six lengths clear of Royal Emperor, who does not know how to run a bad race. Back in third is Supreme Prince. They're clear of Hardy Eustace and Simply Supreme. Here's two out. Iris's gift. A lovely jump from the leader. In second, Royal Emperor. In third, Supreme Prince, desperately tired now. Simply Supreme's gone into fourth. Hardy Eustace well beaten off as they come now to the final flight. Iris's gift. He's got one left to take. He's clear. Iris's gift, untidy at the last. Ran down it. He's leading by only seven lengths. Getting pretty weary. Chasing him is Royal Emperor. Five lengths away now. Iris's gift holding on by four from Royal Emperor, who's run a fantastic race. But Iris's gift, he pricks his ears and goes on again, getting a most magnificent cheer. He ran so well at Cheltenham. My, how he deserved this. Iris's gift beats Royal Emperor, who again ran his heart out. Supreme Prince in third, Simply Supreme in fourth, Hardy Eustace next, very weary. Well, put up a tremendous performance, front running there to win the Sefton Novices Hurdle, the 10 to 11 favourite, and as John Hunt said, he deserved that success after a tremendous performance in the Stairs Hurdle at Cheltenham. Second was number seven, Royal Emperor, another horse who ran a tremendous race to finish second at 12 to 1. He's been hard at work for a long way out there, they've gone very quickly. And third was number nine, Supreme Prince, also 12 to 1. The totes win 180, places 110, 180, 270. The exacta paid 8 pounds and 10 pence, and all nine.